graders and parents at our beautiful Brown Elementary. If you will follow me, I will show you exactly what to expect this year as we start school. Over here you'll see our office. We have some of the best office staff in the district. Hands down. So through these doors, which you will not need a code to enter, we'll show you the rest of the school. So we're gonna go left when you come in these front doors. Over here, we have our maker space room. We have the opportunity about once every three weeks to come in here and be creative with our lessons, have some hands-on lessons, and really enjoy. We have joining us this year, Darren A.B. He is coming to us from Tyler ISD, and we are excited to have him. Speaking of, he's actually right in here. This is our LRC. We have our amazing Miss Struble in, in here. And so we have one of the best libraries at White House ISD. We are very blessed to have both of them here. As we continue on, we're going to show you several things, including our great music room with our very own Mrs. Shaw, who you will meet when she is here. She is absolutely incredible, and we have an incredible music program here at Brown. As we move on, we're going to see our cafeteria. So we are very blessed to have a great size cafeteria where we will be able to social distance due to our scheduling. They've worked that out really well. And so kids will go in one by one to grab their meals, making sure we social distance at all times, and we'll social distance as we sit as well, making sure we keep our kiddos all safe and healthy. What we also have right here is we'll have hand sanitizing stations. We've already got it up right over there, and we'll make sure to sanitize and wash often. So as we come over here, we have our incredible gymnasium. So new this year, we're actually going to be breaking our students up so that we'll just have one class at a time to maintain that social distance. So we'll have one class in here, we'll have two classes separated outside just to make sure we're keeping all your kiddos safe and healthy. So one thing that's unique this year, you want to make sure that you have your kiddos bring water bottles. The actual fountains themselves are going to be turned off but these are turned on ready to fill with water bottles that have lids that screw on. Here we have the restrooms. We'll make sure your kids are washing often. And as we come in here to our left, we've got our incredible computer lab. Miss Elsner is our computer lab teacher. She's terrific. And the kids will have the opportunity to learn in 2020 everything they need to know, which we know is crucial during these times. As we go on, this has been Miss Avance, and we're gonna continue. Miss Pritchard is gonna lead the way. Hello. And tell us all about these colorful hallways. All right, as we continue, because we came left in entering the school, you have the yellow hallway. Through here, you have your kindergarten and your first grade classrooms. We'll also have guidance counseling with our counselor. Oh, and pre-K and pre is down the hallway. So those little friends will be down here um, learning at their heart content. And then we'll continue. See the makerspace room again, so you'll pass by on our way. We also have a courtyard that we can use sometimes for different activities and things with our kiddos. You gonna pass that? <laughs> okay, then we have our green hall coming up. And this is where we have second and third grade. Down here with all our lovely different teachers for that purpose. We also have some RTI teachers down here that sometimes we'll see in the fourth grade and fifth grade hall. We have bathroom station on this end of the school as well. We have another water bottle filler so you don't have to go just to one end of the school. Over here to our left, Mr. Ricky. We are. <laughs> 
This is our science lab, which you'll actually get to be with Mrs. Avance, Mrs. Proffer, or Mrs. Miller. And as you look around the room, you can see we have so much in store for you guys, and we cannot wait for you to come in here and learn with us. Perfect. We'll continue going to the other side of school. <laughs> That's never ending, right, Mr. Ricky? <laughs> Oh goodness. So here's the orange hall for fourth grade and fifth grade. We have um, dyslexia room right here that you can get help with along with uh, speech. Actually. Thank you, speech. I was gonna say, I know there's something else in here. <laughs> Perfect. And then we go all the way down the hall because fifth grade likes to be at the end because we don't have anything at this point but we have fourth grade right here different rooms and then we have our bathrooms coming up of course so they can also take care of business and keep their hands clean we do not have a water bill or filler here, so the water bottles will only be at the main hallway. These will be turned off for safety. Okay. So in room 315, this will be uh, Miss Machado's classroom. That's in a work in progress. It's all good. We're gonna keep going to show you the entryways. This is Mrs. Avant's classroom. There it is. And then across the hall, you have my classroom, Mrs. Pritchard's classroom. That's also a work in progress. <laughs> Getting it ready for the school year to start. Then we have Miss Proffer's classroom. Also, a work in progress. We're hard at work this summer getting ready for all the kiddos to come in. And then our last one, a little further down the hall, going back up to the main hall, closer to fourth grade classrooms, is our uh, teacher, Mrs. Miller, who is new to White House this year, but she is so excited to get started with you guys. As you can tell, all of us have a work in progress for you guys to get there. But we are super excited and we hope you enjoyed our tour and we can't wait to see you guys. All right. Have a great rest of your summer and we'll see you soon.